Okay, hello everyone. Right, so today we're talking about um, the symbolism and meaning of the Silver Sabre's crest. Um, the crest is our, our logo that you might have seen um, at Comic-Con or on any of our videos. And um, it's, a, it's a fairly simple thing. It starts with a circle. So what we have really to begin with is um, our underlying linear geometry. And this is um, for edged weapon use. It is something that's turned up again and again in history um, across different cultures and in different languages. Um, and it describes the different options for delivering a cut to the target. And um, the Eight Spheres is called the Eight Spheres because it expands on this concept and it takes these initial cuts and it, and it introduces a fractal element where we replicate this circle at the point of incision on all of those cuts. And it's, um, it's something I haven't seen anywhere else. This is something, to my knowledge, is unique to the Eight Spheres system. And it, it lends itself to the way my brain likes to investigate arcs and cuts and maths. It's, it's natural. It doesn't require any cultural baggage, it's just a circle and a square. That's all it is. And we talk about this as part of the level four syllabus. We don't really introduce all of the range of cuts and wields um, prior to that, because really level one, two, and three is your, your nursery, where you'll learn how to articulate your hands and and wrists and the point of the weapon and the, the main body of the weapon around your person. And when you can do that with a very limited vocabulary, we'll start with just um, this singular cut downwards to the head and then either side to the flank. And we, we number these like a clock. So it's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the parries would also be numbered according to the positions of the cuts that you're trying to intercept. Um, so in level one, uh, really you'd only be looking at cuts eight, cut two, and cut six. But there is another element as well. In level one, we start talking about yin and yang, and we talk about that within all yang is the seed for the yin that will grow from it, and vice versa, within all yin is the seed of yang that will will grow and eventually encompass the entire, the entire body of the yin. And this is changing, turning, eternal. It's not a static, balanced thing like a, um, you know, a set of scales where yin is equal to yang. It's, it's changing, always changing. So you can look at this and it is a beautiful thing because you've got to remember this algebra didn't come for many, many, many years, you know, afterwards. And here we have this dividing line between the yin and the yang. And you can see it's a sine wave. And I would argue, personally speaking, that this is pre-algebraic calculus. Because what this line describes is the rate of change of the rate of change of yin to yang and yang to yin. And it's, it's cosmic, man. It's amazing. This, this stuff, um, you can look at water disappearing into a drain. You can look at galaxies forming in the sky. And this is what you'll see. And for this to be... It's, in, it's integral with everything you're going to do. If you, if you don't appreciate the yin and yang separation in your feet, in your hands, in the difference. You've got to remember we teach two-handed sword work first. And regardless of the cut that you want to deliver, the right hand and the left hand have to coordinate using the yin and yang theory in order to optimize the efficiency of that cut. So we have to somehow combine the eight spheres and the yin-yang. And you can see quite clearly here we have what is 
a traditional Western approach to, to sword play and a traditional, what they'd say, Oriental approach to philosophy. And believe me, they're not different. They're the same. They, you know, this might have been explained first in Chinese and, and in this in Latin or, or any of the derivations thereof, but essentially they're talking about the same thing. There is actually only one art. Um, and what we have is the synthesis between these two things, and we bring them together in this Silver Sabre syllabus um, for people to, to play with. So we start with a circle. And I'm, I'm not choosing any particular size of radius or anything. I'm just, remember this is, this is something that should be intelligible to any community, any investigator, regardless of their language, regardless of their culture, their geography, or their time. That's the beauty of mathematics. We start with the circle. And now, the, the next step into this is we have to introduce these lines. But we're not going to show them in the crest. We're going to infer them. We're going to give people a chance to see them even though they're hidden. So we're going to hide them. And the way we're going to do that, if you just bear with me for one second. So I have a ruler, but I'm, I'm literally only using this as a straight edge. I don't, I don't care about measurements. This could just be a string or a piece of paper that's been folded. It makes no difference whatsoever. That's my first point. That's my second point. So that's cut eight and cut four, already defined. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to swap the pen out, put the pencil in. And we're going to bisect that line to give us. I'm going to offset the bisection far away. And the reason we bisect, we don't just use a protractor, we don't just use a 45 degree set square or something, is because this is teaching us about how these, these shapes communicate with each other. And we don't get that if we just use a protractor. We want to understand. We don't just want to replicate. And there's our cuts, two and six. And again, I'm going to add an additional bisection using cuts two and eight to create my diagonals, which are going to be on the 45 degree line. to go through the center line or the origin and there's cuts one and five and lastly we are going to bisect cuts eight and six to give us our last two cuts of the eight Cut three and cut seven. Now we need to change this back for our silver pen. Why silver? Well, Nick Musson came up with the name, Silver Sabres. Silver because we like balance. We like it when yin and yang match. And uh, when black and white merge, they become gray. Grey is boring, silver's pretty exciting. 
dead cool, so we'll go with silver instead of grey. Silver sabres. So, silver pen. And now we need to, we're going to introduce these, these wielding circles. But the radius of these circles is going to be identical to the distance between the two lines as they intersect on the circumference. So I'm just going to, and this is really important that I get this right because otherwise it just doesn't fit. I'm just gonna go around quickly and make sure that none of these are off by too much. Right, that looks pretty good. So we'll start with number eight. round to number one. And we'll do this in order. So we'll go around to look at number three. Oh, sorry, two. Cut number two. Represented by the entire wielding circle that gives you your entry into that cut. There we go, number three. Your vertical rising cut. This is why you need to have a cup or a box or a groin guard because this cut is a thing. You know, if you ban the groin shots, you're deleting an entire circle. The system's incomplete. What's the point? What is the point? As I said, this is just as casual as I can do. And you can see I've had to come and do six before I've done five and seven because the circles weren't quite matching up. So I just needed to adjust it. There you go. Your initial eight spheres. Of course, you could call it the nine rings, but um, <laughs> isn't it beautiful? And straight away, you can see you can see the harmony, and you can see the eternity. Okay, next, I need to. Switch back to the pencil because I have to now take this diameter and I have to dice, uh, not only bisect it, I have to move it into four components, four equal distances, so that I can add the yin yang into the center. So, what we have here now is the beginning of a synthesis for the eight spheres and the Taiji Chuan. What's the difference? Well, one was invented in China and the other was invented here in Europe. Um, what are they talking about? They're talking about the same thing. We're not, we don't care about identity, we care about truth. We're not invested in any culture except for honor, honesty. So, first I draw a line
then I have to bisect it. So we'll take this point here, the origin. It's too big. Let's make it. Oh, yeah, that'll do. And then we'll take this point here, the incision of cut eight, and we'll cross it. And then we take our two intersections and we line them up and we arrive at a point around there, which I'm just going to check now. Looks about right. So, and again, no protractors, no rulers, just a straight edge and a compass. That's all you need. So, if you find yourself marooned on a faraway planet with nothing better to do, see if you can carve these into the rocks until someone notices. Don't want to ruin it when we're doing so well. It's too big. It's too small. And there's our sine wave. So now what we need to do is literally just color it in. So we'll make this the yin and that the yang. So we'll start with Now what we're doing here is we're, we're filling in where we see the yang within the yin. And obviously, on the other side, we will leave blank the dark regions, which will represent the yin within the yang. And you have And I confess, when I tried filming this earlier on, I totally messed this up. I got all the lines right, and I just got my contrast between yin and yang slightly wrong. And it upset me greatly, because it meant I wasn't paying attention.
put in it. Is that right? That's looking pretty good. Yeah, and there you have the eight spheres meets the Tai Chi Chuan. And then all we need to do, because what we've just done is created something, is we need to seal it. And this is the equivalent of quenching the blade. So what I shall do now, And this one is always the, the, the telling factor. Is it going to match up nice and neat? Et voila. Ta-da! The Silver Sabres Combat Academy. The crest. The linear geometry. The Tai Chi Chuan. They come together. And... Bang, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, ask below. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.